Hi, Jessica here with the Janung team and Real Broker. Today we are doing model tours of a new construction community that recently opened called Avellino. It's built by DR Horton. I'm also with my husband, Chris. He has his mic on as well. He's my cameraman. So we're gonna tour two of the models here. So th there are five total floor plans, but only two of them are modeled on site. So we're gonna take a look at those. And then we actually might take a look at a third model under uh, production a third floor plan under production. So that one's gonna be vacant, but I want you to see the single story floor plan because I've seen it at other communities and it's an awesome floor plan that has high ceilings and I wanna show it to you guys. So we are going to start with the, the two largest homes are modeled here. So we're gonna start with the second largest home, which is actually a multi-gen home. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a home within a home and it has its own separate entrance. So that's what we're at the side of right now, at the side of the house, at the multi-gen entrance. When we're done looking at the the multi-gen suite will go around and tour the rest of the house but these are perfect for uh it's locked <laughs> there's your boober okay we unlocked it now <laughs> come on over so that reminds me while these models are a hundred percent finished and ready to tour they are still by appointment only until they finish the road out front they're not going to be just open to the public like they normally are so check with us or check with your agent uh, if you're wanting to tour them make sure that they're open or that you have an appointment so uh, the multi-gen this is the living room area you have tons of room for a sectional couch your tv would go over in the corner lots of light um, you have can lights that are included you have a j box that you could hang a ceiling fan or a pendant up in the ceiling so living area you have a little kitchenette over here um, white cabinets you actually have two cabinet color choices here at this dr horton community so you have this one and then we'll see the other color i believe it's called alto it's like a grayish brownish color really popular right now so two cabinet colors to choose from you can see we're looking at the white here white corner uh, quartz countertops standard normally these are an upgrade but they're standard at this community you have this nice single basin sink you have built-in microwave and dishwasher that comes the only thing that you don't have in here is like a stove a cooktop but i've seen people use the little plug-in countertop ones if you want to have that um, off of the kitchenette area you have a bathroom with a walk-in shower I'll let you uh, take a look at that and this is like a linen cabinet here you have what I believe is going to be your coat closet here stacker washer dryer and then door i'll let you look at this door it's going to be solid and the models they have it glass but you, what you actually get is solid and that actually um you have direct access to the home so say like you were gonna um maybe have a tenant or whatnot in here somebody was going to rent this room and you wanted privacy you could completely lock off this unit from the home because it does have its own separate entrance it has its own bedroom as well. That's how they're doing these multi-gen or next-gen suites lately is they're having their own bathroom. It used to be kind of casita style where it was just one big room, but now they're having individual rooms. So it's like a little apartment, which is awesome. And you have a door to the exterior of, of the home as well. So this goes to the backyard, which is awesome because this uh, access to the backyard is behind this block wall. So I think that's great for security and you have a wall closet here as well. So we are going to go back out because they actually lock that um, access door to the rest of the home in the models because they want you to experience uh, the, you know, the, the separate entrance, I guess you would say. So this unit in, in and of itself is 487 square feet. I actually had that question recently, so now I have that answer, 487 square feet. Yeah, and let's talk about this real quick because, so this unit's 487 square feet, um, but the entire house is 29, 29 square feet. They have sold this model all throughout the area. I've had even clients buy this plan resale. They're very popular for people who have aging parents or even like have a home office and want a separate living area. So it's total, including the bedroom and the multi-gen, it's a four bedroom, three bathroom home. Let's take a look at the main home.
Welcome to the main home. <laughs> nice entryway. Uh, again, here is uh, the access to the multi-gen suite. If you were gonna have this open, you'd have this solid door here. They just have glass for the models. Um, opens into a very large great room. Um, I want to talk about the flooring real quick because flooring in almost all of the models in all of the builders is um, always upgraded. So this is an upgraded flooring. They have really reasonable upgrades here though. The sales rep was telling me that if you want to upgrade to like the vinyl uh, flooring like five to seven thousand dollars so super reasonable and then um, if you don't do the upgraded these are like vinyl planks um, then you get it's like a vinyl sheet um, it's like a wood look vinyl sheet so um, I think for five to seven thousand to go with the real vinyl planks um, it is worth it so why do we take off your shoes Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I took off my shoes. They're very clunky, and Chris thought that would be really annoying for the video. So <laughs> um, it's for you. <laughs> and on, on your sales rep, let's give Terry some, some kudos for being so helpful the past several months as, yeah. as this has been uh, a long time coming. We've yeah. Been, we've been tracking this for a long time. We drive by it every yeah. single day. This project has been very highly anticipated. This is a really good location. It's, it's technically Wildemar, but it's just to the north of Murrieta and Old Town Marietta is there, lots of shopping off Clinton Keith. You have these beautiful mountains and the Santa Rosa Plateau if you go to the west. So it's highly anticipated and so we've been bothering her for a lot of information so that we could get that to you. And she has been very nice and very important to me when I'm showing clients a community that um, I try to bring them to the nice sales reps and she's awesome. Yes, shout out to Terry. So kitchen, uh, white cabinets. So like we saw in the multi-gen, you had the white cabinets and whatever you choose cabinet color, Otherwise, it is going to be consistent throughout the whole home. So you can't have like a bathroom be dark brown and the kitchen be white. It's going to be consistent throughout the whole home. And again, these are the standard quartz countertops, which is awesome. Um, refrigerator, washer, dryer, those are, are usually not included. Same with window coverings, same with the backyard landscaping. It's going to be dirt, so you're going to want to plan that into your budget. Um, but great open floor plan. And one of the nice things about DR Horton that I wanna make sure that I point out, they're, they're what I consider like a value builder where they have more things included in the price so that you don't get nickel and dimed like some of the more custom builders. Every time you're adding four cam lights to a room, it's like eight or $900. But with DR Horton, the cam lights are included in the price. Now, like when you see something hanging, these fixtures I wanna point out are not included. Ceiling fans, pendant lighting, sconces, those are not included, but like here, you're gonna have the J box, the, the electrical is gonna be there. So you just have to choose your fixture after closing and have it installed. The electrical is already gonna be there. So let's continue. So you have the next gen unit off of the front door and you have another downstairs bedroom and bathroom which is gonna be over here, which is across from the garage entrance. Now the model, um, I can't recall if it had two or three cars, but you have that option with this plan. Let's see, it looks like that the two car is modeled from what I can tell from the paper, but there are homes here that have the third car garage. Those ones are a little bit more expensive, but it is a three car side-by-side -side garage. As a person with a two car garage, I say spend the money, get the third car garage. Yeah, we get more into the location and the community in a previous video that we did. This one. We're just more focusing on the floor plans and the models. So if you want even more information, watch our previous video. We'll link it down below in the description. So downstairs bathroom with a walk-in shower, which is also great if you have an elderly parent that doesn't want to jump over the bathtub, you've got that. Downstairs bedroom, I'll let you guys take a look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. I want you to see how this transitions to carpet. So stairs, standard flooring is almost always carpet with all the builders. You have to upgrade if you want something other than carpet on the stairs. I personally like carpet on the stairs because I have kids and I actually have vinyl plank flooring on my stairs and I feel like it's dangerous. So I'm good with carpet on the stairs. Super spacious loft, light and bright laundry room over here. I'll let you. Like this area over here because this person has like a separate little suite this is not the primary bedroom but it has its own uh, bathroom and then the bedroom right next door 
So I feel like this room would be perfect for an older child. Have some privacy, their own space, wall closet. Now we'll look at the primary bedroom right here in the middle. Very spacious, this is a king size bed. You still have room for big furniture, a couple of chairs. This one has um, four uh, recessed lights in here as well. These are all LED lights, by the way, so they should be super energy efficient. Primary bedroom almost always overlooks the backyard, as does this one. Okay, primary bathroom, spacious, walk-in shower, large walk-in shower, no tub, just so you know, no option for a tub here in the primary so far as I know, but you do have the tub in the secondary bathroom if you have children. But a lot of the builders are doing away with the big soaking tubs. Not, I would say half of them um, are because a lot of people aren't necessarily using them. But so anyway, uh, uh, shower and then you have the dual sinks, dual undermount sinks, and you have a spacious walk-in closet with a window, which is my favorite. I'll let you take a look at that. I love a window in a closet. Get some air in there. Okay, lastly, we're gonna look at one more bedroom here. So this is the third bedroom upstairs. So my apologies, because I just counted the bedrooms. There is technically five bedrooms in this home, although they only say four on here but it is, it's definitely five because you have three upstairs. You have the downstairs bedroom that's not part of the suite. So if you include the multi-gen suite, it is technically a five bedroom home. So I want to correct that. This room is actually spacious. You can see they have the two beds in here. I think this is the largest of the, of the secondary bedrooms throughout the home. Okay, so this plan is the second to largest, the 2929 plan. Now we're going to go tour the largest one, which is a standard five bedroom home, no multi-gen suite, but it's 3,015 square feet. So we'll head over to that one. Welcome to the 3,015 square foot plan. So this plan, it's a five bedroom plus a den that we're gonna look at here in just a minute, uh, plus a loft upstairs as well. So um, why don't you go ahead and look at the den, um, which is open off the entryway. I love this. This is perfect for an office or a kid's playroom. Maybe if this was my home, <laughs> get all of the toys out of the living area. I would love that. <laughs> And then we're gonna flow through here, really nice open floor plan. You flow into the living room, dining area, kitchen. And I would like to go over a few of the details before we look at the rest of this home, um, such as the numbers. Um, one important new promotion that they're currently doing, they just started including free solar in most of our DR Horton communities in this area. And this, maybe all of them, um, but several of them. And this one is, is definitely included right now. This may or may not last. I don't know, these free solar promotions, they kind of come and go. So um, that's one of the current promotion that they're doing. The total tax rate is about 1.9 to 1.95%. And the HOA currently is $190 per month. And then at build out, it's gonna go down to about $169 per month. Um, prices are starting right around 700,000. They had one single story that was like, 699,990 or something, but most everything else is going to go into the 700,000s. Like this plan currently modeled, they have at $763,490. This is the largest, but actually if the multi-gen is actually a little bit more if you were to get the three car garage. Uh, 789,735 is where this community tops out. Sorry, we had to cut. There's an alarm going off and then there's like a chatty marketing real playing as well. <laughs> so we're back. Um, again, this is the Alto color cabinets. They're kind of a grayish brownish color. These are really popular right now. These are one of the standard choices to choose from. So this one or white. Um, let's go look at a downstairs bedroom this way. So just to get your bearings, here's the front door. Here's the den coat closet, and then you have a downstairs bedroom and bathroom, which I'll let you take a look at. OK, 
Okay, let's take a look upstairs this way. This model is speaking to me, by the way, because my favorite color is green and everything in here is green, so I love it, of course. Um, huge loft here, very spacious. They have a huge sectional there. A couple windows overlooking the backyard, and we'll start with the primary bedroom. Spacious primary bedroom. Good time to talk about this green, beautiful paneling on the wall. <laughs> um, this is not an option, just so you know. We call this a decorator item. This is just an idea of something that you could do on your own after the close of escrow. I have contractors that do this sort of thing, um, but it looks beautiful. I love what they did here. But the, the way that the home is gonna come is just gonna be a textured drywall like all the rest of the walls your ensuite bathroom same thing as the multi-gen you have the walk-in shower you have the dual undermount sinks uh, you have the what do i call it again water closet the water closet thank you <laughs> and a spacious uh walk-in closet here and yeah that one has a window as well oh, it might even wrap let's go look it might wrap around oh yeah oh wow actually this one like really wraps i don't even recall this being that big i haven't been in here in a while i guess but yeah two windows in this closet and really wraps around so huge i know there's gonna be a lot of hgtv jokes about that one's yours honey and then i get you know the woman gets the which rest one, of it it's which like which one's your closet yes every <laughs> every hgtv episode they joke about the husband getting the small closet poor poor husbands this room is especially speaking to me because i love wallpaper um, I know people, they either love or hate wallpaper. I happen to be somebody who loves wallpaper. I think that that's beautiful. Average size bedroom, I would say this one, but this one has a walk-in closet. So um, some rooms have the, the wall closets, some have the walk-in closets. I will say that the kids are always fighting over the rooms with the walk-in closet. Everybody wants the walk-in closet. You'll come this away, linen closet right across from the laundry room, really spacious laundry room. There, it looks beautiful. More linen storage here and because this is DR Horton and I'm not 100% positive about this but these cabinets are probably included they're normally not doing um, too many additional built-ins so don't quote me on that but that would be my guess um, uh, here's your secondary bathroom here with the two sinks you have the tub and then you have two more bedrooms here I'm gonna get out of your way and let you guys take a look at those See those both have wall closets so the kids are going to fight about that that first bedroom with the walk-in closet I'm telling you <laughs> okay so now i think that we are going to go take a look at the single story plan which is not modeled but i would say definitely stick around for that one and it's great to tour the homes that are under production right now because then you can see what you really get without all the razzle dazzle of the models because the models always look beautiful but we're going to go look at one um, that is uh, empty and under construction right now so you can get an idea of that floor plan that is not modeled Um, before you guys come on in, I wanted to point out the mountain view that you have from the front of the house. Maybe just show them the mountain real quick. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because that um, we actually have the same exact view from our home. We have this lower mountain view of the, of the same mountains and I think it's beautiful. Nice long entryway in this home. And then you have two wings of bedrooms. So you have a large opening here. Um, front bedroom and a little linen closet. I think that this front bedroom, let's go this way. I think this room would be perfect for like an office. You could see the front of the home. I personally, like if you have kids, I kind of like their bedrooms to be on the interior of the home. So I think this would be a great office. Bedroom number two. Um, this floor plan, by the way, is 1898 square feet. It's four bedrooms and three bathrooms. This particular one, as you could likely saw outside, is a three car side by side garage. Some of them come with only a two car garage though too. Uh, Walk-in closet on this one, and you have your first of three bathrooms here. 
Um, keep in mind, this is a production home, so it's not completely finished yet. So you're gonna see there's like some touch up and stuff on the walls. Um, there's a walkthrough that we do about a week before closing. They call it the blue tape walk. You might be familiar with that, where we go through and we tape up all the things that need to be touched up. There's always some little touch ups that are needed. Um, garage entrance is over here, laundry room, the upper cabinets are included. And uh, here's your second of three bathrooms here. That one has the walk-in shower. So it might be good for an older parent that doesn't want to deal with the tub. So this is bedroom number three, as I mentioned. So you have one on this side. This one has the most privacy, I would say. You have two over here, but they're very separated. I, I like that about this floor plan. I like separation with the bedrooms. And you have a huge, great room, very open kitchen. Um, they've had this floor plan at many communities throughout our area. Like I remember uh, like the model home at Spencer's Crossing. They did this really cool wood beam was a decorating idea. If I bought this home, I would totally install a wood beam that really shows off. You have very tall ceilings in here. That's why it feels so big. So um, they did the Alto cabinets. As you can see, you've got the built-in cooktop and standard quartz countertops. You could have a couple bar stools here. The way this floor plan works, by the way, this is kind of like a nook area. This is where I would put the Christmas tree. I think that'd be an awesome place for a Christmas tree. This is your living area. This is where your flat screen TV goes and you have the built-in conduit included. And then this is your dining area over here next to the kitchen. And then you can flow, you could even have an outdoor dining area out that sliding glass door here. This is an over 10,000 square foot lot. This is a really big lot for our area. The lot size is in general here. And I apologize if I'm echoey, this is an empty home. <laughs> it is what it is, but the lot sizes in general here are much larger than usual like this is a very long lot it had a large front yard as well like if this was in Temecula you know this would be like a 5,000 square foot lot <laughs> but here this one is over 10,000 and that's not unusual for this neighborhood in that cul-de-sac I don't know if, if you did a street scene pan Chris but there's like only four homes in the cul-de-sac so you get a lot of space in between the homes which is nice these are kind of cool these are these new rocker outlets that they're doing here these little kind of modern switches and then you have dimmers on certain lights as well um, built-in cabinet as you head into the primary suite so the primary bedroom as i think i mentioned before um, almost always overlooks the backyard this one's no different you have the four recessed led lights as well and then you have ensuite bathroom with shower dual undermount sink and a walk-in closet i'll let you take a look at those as well Okay, so just to recap, um, we looked at the two largest floor plans. We started with the second largest, the 2929 multi-gen plan. Then we looked at the very largest plan, the 3,015 square foot. And then this is the smallest plan in the only single story. This one's 1898 square feet. There's two other plans that are not modeled. And I apologize about the echoiness again, because this is actually important information that I wanna share with you guys. In my experience, so these other two floor plans, the 2239 plan is a four bedroom and the 2537 plan is a five bedroom plus a bonus room. In the communities that I've been selling year after year, I have really noticed that the non-modeled floor plans are normally very solid plans, like they almost don't need a model, but they don't sell as well because people, they fall in love with kind of the razzle dazzle of the model. So oftentimes you can get the best deals on those non-modeled floor plans if you can use your imagination, or you could go see them at another community. That's just a little tip. I noticed that they have a little harder time selling those and you can normally get a little better deal. What do you think of this community and the models? Would love to know down below in the description. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.